this. And that is something extraordinary. Uh, the Ferrari Daytona SV3. I had the uh, privilege of uh, being at the unveiling of this remarkable car last night. And Flavio Manzoni, who is the head of design for Ferrari, I have to say I am absolutely thrilled that you have chosen to join us here. And I, 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 I remain amazed at just how uh, you and your team are able to design such works of art, sir. Dave, thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, all the Ferrari fans and uh, all our colleagues. What an extraordinary car. And I have to say, Flavio, of course, you of head of design, um, ultimately, with a brand with the heritage and prestige of Ferrari uh, for you to come up with and to design something that is literally so pleasing to the eye and so desirable to everyone it must make you very satisfied when the factory when you are able to deliver something like this Daytona I am very proud I have to admit it <laughs> It's incredible to see this car now besides one of the most beautiful masterpieces of the history, that is the 330 P3, P4. It's, uh, it has been a fantastic challenge. You can imagine the responsibility to create a new icona and especially a new masterpiece because the idea was not only to make a car that is uh, beautiful and perform I, I'm listening to you, sorry, talking to my uh, producer. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. So not only a fantastic supercar, but also a piece of art. This was our intention. I have to say that the team has been incredible, fantastic. We will talk some more in just a moment. We are yeah. delighted that you are with us. I believe we can go down into the pit lane. I think Amanda Busick has managed to uh, get hold of James Collado. That is right. We are standing by with James. And James, when you look at the success that you found this season, what was the highlight for you? Hard to hear with these amazing cars. They're awesome. Uh, yeah, the highlight, I mean, it was, a, it was an incredible year for the team, for myself and LA. I think winning Le Mans was absolutely incredible for the second time. And obviously, second time world champion is, uh, is a great achievement. And um, yeah, now we can celebrate by driving these amazing cars recently welcomed a baby girl what do you look forward to of telling her about your years as a ferrari racing driver oh yeah i mean um at the moment she doesn't really understand but uh yeah it's nice to uh hopefully one day sit down and, and tell her about what we did and you know continue to do so uh, i'm still reasonably young so i've got a few more years left but um yeah it's, it's a great feeling congratulations thank you very much uh, well done, Amanda, catching up with uh, James Collado. As I mentioned earlier on, we are absolutely delighted to have Flavio Manzoni, uh, head of design uh, at Ferrari, with us with this um, wonderful, the next chapter, if I can say that, of the Icona project, and uh, this, the awesome Daytona SP3. This unbelievable P3 before that are. Uh, one of my, let's say, masterpieces, one of my, let's say, favorite Ferrari masterpieces of the history. And um, I think we are all very proud about this project. Um, you know the history of uh, the Icona project. Indeed, and, 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 and when you, as a designer and your team, uh, when, you, when you take your inspiration from cars of the past which have been iconic, uh, of course, uh, to design something which is now modern, but to pay heritage and pay homage to that that has gone before, yeah. it's an extraordinary difficult task, but you achieve it so well. You know that we started with the Kona project, uh, with the, uh, let's say, the Monza. The Monza yes. is not really the modern interpretation of the Monza 7050, but it's the modern interpretation of uh, the con Barqueta concept itself, because this is a, such an extraordinary architecture that it doesn't, it doesn't exist in, a, in the world anymore. So a car that was able to create a fantastic, let's say, uh, symbiosis between man and machine. And the second chapter of this history is the new uh, Icona that we call Daytona SP3. 
three. And uh, here we wanted to catch the spirit of the uh, sport prototype of the 60s and the 70s. Yes. There were such, be such beautiful um, cars like the, not only the P3, P4, but also the 350 Canam, for example, the 512 S and so on. They were not car they were cars designed for the track and for the performance and uh, to win, yes. but they were also um, incredible beauties. Yes. So it's amazing how they can be so beautiful. They are, let's say, masterpieces. They, they are pieces of art, although they are designed for the track. So this is this is the spirit that we wanted to catch with the new uh, Daytona SP3. And of course, we are talking about a language which is a Ferrari language. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a lexicon. It's a, let's say, a, a set of uh, let's say linguistic codes that we wanted to somehow to note at, but we wanted to make a car that is futuristic and very modern. I think you can uh, you can see it now, and it's beautiful to see the car now on the track. For sure, and actually, it really does not look out of place alongside uh, the heritage and the history. Um, you, of course, you are the uh, head of the team, but it must be such a talented team that you have behind you that is able to lead this concept. I have the fortune to have around me fantastic uh, colleagues. They are yes. designers, modelers, virtual modelers. They are fantastic. They are artists. And I'm very proud about this team. And today, um, it's my pleasure also to mention all the names of the, 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 the most important um, elements of the team that worked on this amazing uh, car. And starting from the exterior design, Carlo Palazzani, mm -hmm. Stefano De Simone, Simone Sabatucci, and Gesù Furtado did a fantastic job. Regarding the interiors, the interior is such a beautiful cockpit with uh, a, mm, a very original design language, as you can see, Dave. And Fabio Massari led the interior design team together with Marco Marino, Nicola Bevilacqua, Andrea Ortile, Gabriele Cataldi, Gabriele Rizzi and Roberto Mascuzzo. And last but not least, you have seen this beautiful white version, oh. this... Um, Matt White yes. version with the livery yes. that has been uh, designed by the color and print team, especially Silvia Cavallaro and Silvia Capuano. They did a fantastic job. So, and they are always ready to, uh, let's say, to offer their support to our clients to make uh, their cars very original, not only because of the shape, but also because the color choice and the deliveries and so on. And I want to mention also, if you can, Dave, Please. the head of the, the team leader of the project, Corrado Iotti, the engineer that led the project with a fantastic vision. He has been really, really great, uh, understanding perfectly that the beauty is one of the, uh, one of the most important qualities of a Ferrari. Ferrari must be not only performant and, and, uh, and innovative in terms of technology, but also must be a piece of art. I've had the privilege of being at the gala dinner last night when this car was unveiled. Yeah. And I have also had the benefit of coming to Maranello. I've had the benefit of being at the uh, fantastic museum of Ferrari as yeah. well, which may I remain uh, remind our viewers that uh, some of the uh, earlier uh, successful GT cars that we saw on track just a few moments ago will be on display very, very soon in the uh, Ferrari Museum. But when you look in the museum yeah. and you look at the cars that have um, littered the fantastic Ferrari history with such beauty and which, with such engineering excellence, I now can understand exactly what a hard and difficult job you and your team have to recreate that and recreate it into, into a concept which is so beautiful and so modern, of course, with modern materials. But does not that make, uh, Flavio, the people of the past who designed those cars, they were so clever as well, weren't they? Of course, of course. Um, sometimes they, I mean, <laughs> they were masters of uh, uh, in the construction of the, the say, metal sheet parts of the car so they they were able even if maybe they weren't designers i mean working on cars like that but they 
had this kind of um, artistic approach that probably is the result of the absorption of uh, the cultural, the, the artistic culture of, uh, of, of Italy. Uh, we are surrounded by so many masterpieces Indeed. in art, in architecture, in, in, uh, in sculpture. So probably this is one of the reasons why we could, uh, let's say, convey such an incredible uh, aesthetic quality to our products as well. Flavio, I cannot thank you enough for taking the time to be with us on the air. I know you have to disappear because you will be part of some of the celebrations yeah. down there on the track and the <laughs> photographs, but thank you. Thank, thank you. thank you. Thank you, Dave. Thank and, you very uh, much. You should be so proud of what you have created, you and your team. Well done indeed. So there we can see the uh, wonderful uh, Daytona SP3.